David Naranjo with Mitsubishi Digital Electronics, and I'm Director of Product Development. And this is a uh, pretty big television here. What are we looking at? So this is a 65-inch laser view television. It's the first ever te television that actually uses laser technology for a display device. So tell me about the lasers. As you know, lasers for red have always been used in CDs and certainly in high-power applications. Blue and green have been very low-power applications, such as Blu-ray players. We've actually been able to now take and, and up the power on blue and green to basically create an environment where we can actually draw the pixels and actually scan the screen in a way that still gives us 1080p resolution. No one else has been able to achieve the blue and green levels that we've been able to attain, and there's a reason for that. It's intellectual property that Mitsubishi has. When you look at the product, you'll see that the red is truly red, because as you know, lasers, we can be very precise in their wavelength. We're actually at the red color wavelength, the actual blue color wavelength, and the green. So our reds are very pure and very precise, as are the blues and the greens. As a result, all the secondaries are very pure and precise. You get twice the color of any other display device. Half to one-third the power of comparable display devices at this screen size. So a plasma 65-inch or 65-inch LCD draws at least twice or three times more power than does this device. We're very energy efficient. What about other things, viewing angle and so forth? Viewing angle, well, well over 160 degrees of viewing angle. The weight is very lightweight. It's less than 160 pounds. So for a 65-inch TV, it's very lightweight. When you look at a plasma LCD at the same screen size, there's somewhere 400 pounds. And what about the lifespan? Lasers have no decay. There's no such things as phosphors that decay unevenly or some things like LED that decay unevenly. Lasers are just constant light source. When there are no trade-offs, the final trade-off is usually price. 65-inch flat panels are coming down from where they used to be at $15,000 to $7,000. What we're saying with Laser View TV is that we're going to be competitively priced with those products when we launch in the third quarter of this year. So whatever those prices happen to be, we'll be very competitive to them. From Digital Experience and IEEE Spectrum, this is Stephen Cherry.